Hello everybody, it's Nathan from Arcadius Ops and today we're going to do some simple stuff with Nmap. Nmap of course being the de facto network reconnaissance tool. It can do some really good stuff, especially for active reconnaissance, whereby you're actually in contact with your target. As always, I've got my Kali Linux machine running on my local virtual network. So without further ado, let's get to it. Nmap is a tool that's been around since about 1997, and it was first published in that mine of information called FRAC. P-H-R-A-C-K. FRAC magazine is still going, but sadly it doesn't publish as much as it used to. And FRAC is responsible for some of the biggest and most important milestones in hacking of all genres, uh, whether you're black hat or white hat. So NMAP has been around for quite some time. It is very good at host analysis and target analysis. And today, we are just going to do a very simple scan on my target, which is 192.168.2.23, as it always is. And I'm going to put the minus DB scan this to make all the output come to the screen. So, ta -da. But there's a couple of things that you need to pay attention to on here. It does a parallel DNS of your target. So I've supplied the IP address, but I can also supply the website address. All right. So for example, I can bring that back up. I can replace this with our website. Okay. That's our website, and it will do a prior DNS a resolution a job to find out what the website is. And there we go. All right. Let that finish there. Okay, it's going to take some time, so let's just do that. So, the first thing you've got is your DNS. Now, because of my... Uh, let's clear that in a minute. Because this virtual machine doesn't have a website address associated with this, it doesn't return any uh, DNS information. Then it goes on to scanning the thousand ports. Right, which is default for Nmap. It's discovered two open ports, and then it's told me that the other 998 closed. And it told me that port 22 is open, TCP protocol SSH. Port 80 is open, TCP protocol HTTP. Well, that's because on this machine, there is an SSH service running, and there is an HTTP. TTP service running. You'll also see that it's giving me the MAC address, all right, and it's running on a virtual host, all right. It's not connected to the internet, so no worries there. And it has told me that we've had 1,001 packets sent, 1,001 packets received. So that is your basic, your most basic of Nmap scans gives you some information, but it really doesn't give you enough detail to get your teeth into um, hacking. But let's let's uh, let's discuss a few things here. All right, especially these things called open and closed filtered and non-filtered ports all right now you're going to see this open closed filtered and unfiltered a lot 
open means that there is an an active connection to it so this open port there's something running behind that port all right the other ones are closed so if you have a thousand ports there and nothing running all right you will also see filtered in some of the scans and unfiltered filtered ports are protected by a firewall and that can be a problem for um for hackers all right unfiltered port means that nmap is unable to determine whether it's open or it's closed it just doesn't know all right open filtered closed filtered an open filtered port is one that is open or filtered but cannot determine what state the port is in and closed filtered is a closed port but cannot determine what it is so nmap does get into quite some detail of what the ports are but a golden rule here is if it's open then it's it's game and if it's closed or filtered then yeah it's not the low hanging fruit that you want but we need a bit more information now of what this machine actually is so it's okay to say that we have port 80 open and we have http but well, i don't know what you did so what we normally do we keep the verbose output and minus a which is an aggressive scan it's going it's going to ask our target well what is this ssh version what is the http version that you're running and most machines will give up this information quite easily and we can see here that nmap has returned a lot of information all right so we've got port 22 and it's running linux because we've got the ttl 64 and it's open on this version of ssh which is 8.2 p1 and it's running ubuntu ubuntu protocol kernel 2. so 8.2 i know is uh, an old version and it's quite vulnerable also for our website sorry our web services we have apache version 2441 right, running in ubuntu and we've got linux kernel 4 or kernel 5 it hasn't been precise and then it runs it again and it said well, it's kernel 415 to kernel 5.6 the tcp ip fingerprint uh can be used to send back to the nmap people we send this fingerprint if there is a new fingerprint that you discover all right the tcp ip sequence then yeah well as i said good luck on predicting the next sequence and here we have the trace route well because it's on my local network there's only only one machine away and we know the ox is linux we know it a couple of times because we know that the ttl is 64 which is linux all right so that's the beauty of nmap we can we can actively recon the target and get some enumeration going and the mantra always is enumerate 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 we can do it for one uh machine here or we could do it believe it or not for an entire network entire um subnet all right so it's now scanning 254 hosts and because it's on a local network there will be some uh, some other machines open 
because I've got quite an extensive virtual network going on here. Uh, this, can, this can take some time. But what I might be doing now, it's scanning my whole network. So it will give information about each and every single host that's on there. I think there's about five or six. It depends if anybody's got their Wi-Fi on or connected with their local machines. And it will do exactly the same on the network as it did for our original scan, which is here. So for every single machine on my network, I will have this information. Specifically, I'll have the detailed information, which is going to be all this. All right. It does take some time, especially if you've got a large network here. I've got 255 hosts. And it's saying that it's down, 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 down. Okay. It is now saying that you discovered these hosts. I've got four hosts. Okay, I've got four hosts here. Okay. And it's now saying that I'm going into these hosts and I'm trying to get the services that are running and trying to enumerate in as much detail because I've told it with the minus capital A, which is here, to do an aggressive scan. Now, aggressive is probably a frightening word to people, but NMAP won't damage your system. It won't, it won't bring it down like something like HPing 3 will. NMAP is it's quite gentle, but it's, it's actually quite quite persistent in getting its information it will try several times to get um, the services that we are now trying to get this is going to take a little bit more time but you've got 22 26 which is the the Udu and firewall and everything and 22 is my wi-fi point i think uh, anyway, there we go. It's now doing some more OS detection. With the OS detection, it doesn't always come back 100% accurate. It's given you an estimate that NMAP is confident that the OS is within this range like in our previous uh, thing here, up, up, up the top, I can just get it. Yeah, it gave us, oh, sorry. It gave us, uh, let's go up here. <clears throat> mm, you go. Gave us this information about our OS, and it gave us a range. All right. Sometimes, depending on what Nmap switch you have, Nmap will give you a probability. So it'll say something like, "This is Linux, ninety percent sure. This is Windows, two hundred percent sure." All right. So now, with this whole network, for each open port on each live host. I've got information such as this. All right. So I've got BOA, HTTP, HTTP daemon. Okay. Design kind of electronics. And here are the kernel information. Linux 2, Linux 2.1. All right. I got the OS fingerprint. And it's telling me that it's a general purpose machine. In fact, this is my uh, router firewall. And I've got a Windows machine running, which is the one I'm on right now. Okay. And I've got all this information there about the specific versions of each services. So Microsoft 
HTTP, HTTP 2 I've got the VMware client daemon I've got NetBIOS it hasn't really told us what version it is but we can guess that from the uh, the web service number all right so that's what I've that's what I've got for nmap nmap is very powerful and I've got clear that and it can be used to do a lot of good things oh, okay <laughs> okay 192.168.2.23 right now one of the most common uh, things that you can do with nmap after you've enumerated your host is that many people don't know this but it can be used as a vulnerability scanner and one of the wonderful things about nmap is the nsc the nmap scripting engine and to bring it up in minus minus script i say and then i just put volume and this will target my 2.23 host and tell tell me what all the vulnerabilities are now a word of warning here it's not as good as the other vulnerability scanners such as nessus or openvas or colbert blue or uh, colbert strike sorry but nmap script engine is being added to all of the time and in another video i will be going on to the scripts that we have within nmap and that's something that was in the other video but, but what we also need to do with the networking nmap script engine is that you can write your own script now it's in lua script language lua l u a and it's very very powerful so here we are we have an attempt at establishing some basic vulnerabilities it's going through a wordpress no couldn't find wordpress fine that's good no cross-site scripting or cross-site request forgery there's no blog on there there's no null byte so you know this the host which i know is it's actually pretty clean all right so you can use it for basic nmap uh vulnerability scanning so that's it today we've done some enumeration with nmap we've done the minus capital a switch to get this information on the services running open ports and more importantly the versions of the services and the last thing we did there was to use nmap as a very basic um, vulnerability scanner well thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next video bye